If you were early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Professor Slabs here, and you just tuned into another episode of Slab Life Fishing. But today, it's going to be Slab Life Kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you guys just witnessed me and CJ right here. Say what's up, CJ. What's up? Film the filleting of a sheep head, ladies and gentlemen. You guys got to see the Catch a Clean episode of that. Today, we got a special episode for these fillets of these sheep heads, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for all my guys that's familiar and women out there that's familiar with catching sheep head, ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know where I'm getting at. You guys know the nickname for sheep head, huh? And I told you guys in previous episodes I never got to try it like that, but today we are, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if you guessed it in the comment section, po man's lobster, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it right. Po man's lobster is what they call sheep head. Now you guys put in the comment section if you're familiar with that. Now, today we're gonna make a famous dish that's made with lobster meat, huh? You understand? But we're gonna do it po man lobster style. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you guys are in Maine or Connecticut or New England, you guys already know where I'm getting at with this. Lobster is famous in this dish in those uh, regions in those states. What am I talking about, ladies and gentlemen? Lobster rolls. <clears throat> Y'all put in the comment section if you guys ever had a lobster roll on a fresh hoagie bun. Whoa. Well, if you guys guessed that, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we got going on today. But instead of lobster rolls, we doing po' man lobster rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Sheep head edition. And you best believe that. So y'all stay tuned for another episode of Slab Life's Kitchen, baby. Slab Life, baby! Now, right here, so we can move along fast. This is a quick, easy meal. It ain't gonna take rocket scientists, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we have right here is some fresh celery, ladies and gentlemen, I just bought from the store. It's diced up and chopped up nicely. I have right here some green onion, ladies and gentlemen. I like to use the chops, uh, the green parts for uh, mixing in, and it makes a nice garnish, ladies and gentlemen. And I use a little bit of the bottoms. I'm gonna dice up a little bit more fine for going in too, okay? So, and I got me some garlic clove right here. I'm getting ready to peel some garlic, and we're getting ready to get some things popping, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I want you guys to do is stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We finna go ahead and get an episode going that you guys do not want to miss. Yes, sir, buddy. Po man lost the rolls. Getting ready to come live in your kitchen, ladies and gentlemen, in your living room. I mean, I'm in my kitchen, huh? Or wherever you at. Slide like baby. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all see I got the celery, green onion, all cut up, ladies and gentlemen. Right now I'm just bowling it and putting it to the side. What I'm getting ready to do is uh, wash off this, uh, my cutting board here. And I'm going to get ready to move on to our fish, ladies and gentlemen, the main ingredient. Slide like, baby. I'm going to get this garlic all peeled up, ladies and gentlemen, get me a couple cloves out of here. More than a couple, a couple of two. That's the one I need by four or five. That's all. That girl, I know it'll be smelling good, ladies and gentlemen. Brush it up. Get me one more off of her. And that'll do. Peel them out of that outer shell, out of that outer skin too. Yes, indeed. Now, behind me, ladies and gentlemen, I have a pot of water already on preheat. It's already boiling and ready to go. And what you want to do with the sheep head to make it live up to his nickname as poor man's lobster is you want to parboil that meat you don't want to cook it all the way through it's going to be cooked all the way through but you know what i mean you don't want to cook it done 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 to where it's falling apart you want to cook it just to where it stays nice and firm ladies and gentlemen where it can mimic its uh 
whoever's trying to mimic, which is lobster meat, okay? So that's very important right now. We're going to talk about that before we even start cooking it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the most important factor of using poor man's lobster, ladies and gentlemen, is cooking it to the consistency of it living up to its nickname. Because from what everybody say, the flavor is there. So you just got to make sure it feels the same. Now, I know you guys wondering why I'm doing so much garlic. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm going to elaborate with that. The pot of water I got back there boiling, ladies and gentlemen, has garlic powder in it. And just a little bit of garlic salt for seasoning. And I'm going to put two of these cloves in there too. And I'm going to let this fish cook in some fresh with some fresh garlic also and give it some good flavor. Like I told you guys, ladies and gentlemen, I cook from the soul. I cook that soul food, ladies and gentlemen. I be feeling like all the best details are gonna add all the best flavors. Tastes good to you nine times out of ten is gonna taste good to your family. So you ain't really too much gotta go through that because usually nine times out of ten if you're with your wife or your husband or something like that, and you've been with him for many years, y'all are already accustomed to each other's taste buds. And if y'all don't hit it off like that right now, ladies and gentlemen, they got married, especially y'all married, when y'all pretty much eating the same thing. So cook to your flavors, man. Or if that's not the case in your household, ladies and gentlemen, and you know how your significant other likes to eat, maybe when you prepare the meals, man, you should cook to their taste and they like it. You get what I'm saying? And vice versa. See, I know Mama Slabs love garlic. Ain't that right, Mama? Mm-hmm. That's coming from her Sicilian background. You understand me? So, yep, we got our garlic all peeled up. Y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I went and got my hands all washed, got my veggies all cooked, I mean, cut up, got my garlic all um, peeled and ready to go. Now it's time to get these beautiful fillets, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these gorgeous sheephead fillets, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that. And we got more in there, too. We got a more smaller one. So Save what I'm going to do... One for frying. So what I'm going to do is... Start by cutting them down the center right here. We're going to get that thin in. We're going to start with that first. And we're going to cut it up in nice chunks, ladies and gentlemen. About that big, with you on that bun. Nice, beautiful chunks. Just like that. CJ, if you want to be so kind and get your father in, uh, a bowl, please, buddy. They ain't got to be fancy, ladies and gentlemen. Just cut them up in nice chunks. Just that simple. You don't want them too small and you don't want them too big. Just nice chunks. So when you bite into that fish, into that sandwich, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have that poor man lost it. Because that's one thing about Florida, ladies and gentlemen. Seemed like all the places where I tried my lobster rolls was lacking a lot of lobster. So when I'm making these poor man rolls right here, I'm going to make sure mine is packing where all the ones I'll taste was lacking. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what they was lacking there. They was lacking a lot of protein. So I'm going to make sure every bite going to have a nice, beautiful chunk. Approaching, but I'm pretty sure in Maine, ladies and gentlemen, in Connecticut and New England and those places like that right there. Oh, I'm pretty sure Maryland, boy, I'm pretty sure y'all be good and chunky, full of that good lost of meat. Those are beautiful chunks there, oh, yes, indeed. I leave you like that, buddy. 
Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we got a beautiful bowl. A poor man's lobster right there, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't that gorgeous? Now, come with me, Mama Slap. Over here, I have pre boiled, like I told you guys, I got some fresh garlic in there, garlic powder, and a little garlic salt, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm getting ready to do is take our washed fish. And we're going to sit it right in that water just like that, ladies and gentlemen. And it's literally going to cook for literally a minute or two. Not long at all. But like I said, you guys want it to stay nice and firm. You don't want it to be uh, too soft where it's breaking apart. Because you know everybody knows fish. When it cooks, it will break apart. And you guys already see that fish is cooking and turning white almost immediately. And it's soaking up all that good garlic. Oh, my, my, my. So y'all know when I'm getting that with this. Now, if you guys pay attention, that has a consistency of crab meat already. Look at that. That like a piece of lobster or crab meat right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. So you guys look at it. You can put the light back on, mama. You guys see that, how that meat draws up? That looks just like some lobster meat in there. Now, I'm only gonna let this go for a couple more seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Right to where the fish is done. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat off. Look at all those fish oils coming out of there. That's how healthy fresh fish is. Y'all see all that oil on top of that water? Man, look at Chanda. Okay, that's beautiful. That's like crab meat or lobster meat right there. It even looks like it. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's straight up sheep head. That looks like some crab meat. Really, but they say it tastes like lobster. Pull that up, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. Let all the excess drip off. I wish y'all could smell that. So I'm going to sit this off to the side, ladies and gentlemen. And my other bowl. You guys get this now. That looks just like some crab meat right there. Be honest, ladies and gentlemen, be honest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let that sit down and cool for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. And I want you guys to stay tuned and we're going to go ahead and get on to our next process. I should dig in this pot. Mm, that was just room temperature. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, I got a uh, small saucepan right here, a, a rice pot right here, and I got me some salt and butter in there, getting melted down, okay, sweet cream salted butter, okay, I got a whole stick in there, now the only thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of uh, garlic powder, and garlic salt. Same lemon sauce. I mean, in that very same butter, ladies and gentlemen. I got a lemon right here. See? Cut him in half. Give him a little small squirt. Not much. Just a little bit, just like that. Smells 
Same little pieces of green onion you guys seen me cut up earlier. We're gonna put a sprinkle of that in the flame. Yeah, I know I won't get nothing with. I'll cut the heat off. I'm just gonna let that just sit there. And we get ready to move on to the next step, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all stay tuned. Slab life kitchen, baby! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on along to our, in our poor man lobster roll situation here. What I have right here is my garlic. The rest of the garlic I had, ladies and gentlemen, I have my garlic smasher right here. I'm gonna put a clove in now, and I'm gonna smash him down, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all that beautiful zest coming out of there. Come up. It's always gonna be a little access on there, but you can clean that off when you wash off your uh, thing, or you can wipe it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do sometimes, we use all three of these pieces of garlic. Now, that garlic is your best friend when it comes to a lobster roll, a poor man lobster roll, in the roll, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to get that. Okay. I'm going to sit that off to the side. Yeah, right there, make sure. Okay, that's beautiful. I'm going to get a little piece of back in out of there. Okay, now. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is that beautiful poor man lobster that's been strained and everything. And you can see it held its consistency. It's not breaking up or anything. You're gonna get your meat and you're gonna set it right in the bowl, ladies and gentlemen, just like so. Even though I strained it, I see a little bit of more liquid has come out of it. So that's what I'm trying to say while I just dump it all in there. I don't want too much of the liquid in there. But that looks just like some real lump carrot meat to me, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Now we got that in there, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go right here with our green onion. We'll get that in there. Here we go right here with our celery. I'll get that in there, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go with our green onion tops. I'm going to get a few of those in there, ladies and gentlemen. Get a squeeze of lemon. Let's try to pick a couple of these seeds out of here first. No seeds in there. Okay. Get some lemon in there. I've got to have a lemon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Got our lemon. Get us a little bit of garlic salt. Cross it with a little garlic salt. Remember, we did not season the fish. We just boiled it in some seasoning water. Now, here goes the main ingredient, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get us some of this real Hellman's mayonnaise right here. Yes, sir. And it's always good to have too little mayo than too much mayo because you can always add to it. Okay? We're going to get our mayo now. You're going to lightly... I mean lightly, because it ain't chicken, ladies and gentlemen. When you're dealing with fish, you don't want to break it up too much. You want it nice and chunky to mimic that lobster meat. And we're going to lightly just toss our sheep head, our poor man's lobster up. Right in this mayo, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. Ain't that gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen? Now, it looked like I hit it right on the nose with those two spoonfuls of um, mayo. Now, we're going to leave it just like that because you don't want to stir it too much. See how that's holding its consistency, staying nice and chunky, ladies and gentlemen? That's gorgeous right there, man. Look at that. Now, it's very important right here what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to sit this in the refrigerator and we're going to let it get chill for about 10, 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So... What I want you guys to do is stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Poor man lost the rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Slap like baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we have right here is my cast iron skillet. 
with some of that butter in there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these buns, these hoagie buns, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, get some of that butter all over them, just like that. There. Now we ain't gonna hard toast these guys. We just gonna lightly toast them. You understand what I'm saying? We're gonna do one at a time. That one just broke, so I know I ain't using that one. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't gonna get them all too too toasty. We just gonna get them just enough. that I'll make that use that for a sandwich or something one day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we down to the end of these poor man lobster rolls. What I have right here is that butter garlic, ladies and gentlemen, that you guys seen me melt down earlier. And what I'm getting ready to do is take these lightly toasted hoagie bars and I'm going to Spread both top and bottom with this button. Oh, yeah, man, y'all know what I'm getting at with this. Straight butter, ladies and gentlemen. Don't use no oil now. Straight butter. Yes, indeed. Now, buttered our buns. Now it's for the fun part. We're gonna get our beautiful whole man lobster salad, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Get it. Look at us falling over already. Yeah, y'all know where I'm getting at with this, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna put spoonfuls on these buns, ladies and gentlemen, just like so. That made poor, beautiful hoagies, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We ain't done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Mama Slab stealing y'all. Okay, now we're gonna get these buns. Mm -hmm. Sandwich them up. Where's my little spoon? I have a little spoon. I must have put it in the sink already. You don't worry about it. I'm gonna get these buns all nice like this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I know what we're getting at with this. Yes, sir. Look at that. It's done nothing. Some more fun. But excuse me, I gotta get a fork real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, get this garlic out. Who y'all think that one is? Oh. <laughs> what are you still in, girl? I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all hold on, let me go figure out it, what I got it, I got it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta get a fork to get this garlic out of here. Now y'all know what I'm getting at with this. Give it a good stir, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a good stir in there. Excuse me. Butter. CJ, don't be looking like that because mom gets the stale thing. And ladies and gentlemen, what you want to do is I'm gonna go from a turn this way. I'm gonna come starting from right here. You want to get this butter, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to drizzle it all over. Just like that. Just, you want to make sure that lemon butter get all 
over each one of these beautiful sandwiches, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. And that, don't be stingy with it, spread that butter around. It's butter, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody loves butter, just like that. Sit you back up. I see you leaning like the towel with pizza. He can't even take it. Nah, I'm saying green onions, ladies and gentlemen. Remember I told you you can use them for a garnish too. Take them green onions, ladies and gentlemen. Sprinkle them over. Them subs, them, them, them poor man lobster rolls, ladies and gentlemen. What, what you talk about? I wish y'all could smell this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Boy, you gonna spread it over just like that, ladies and gentlemen. That's that wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, right there. Wham! Nah. What you want to do, ladies and gentlemen? See, I had to go with mine slightly. Drills will make it rain with a little bit of that garlic powder, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Open them buns like that right there, where it gets all down that bread. And, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a poor man's lobster roll. Yes, Lord! Man, I appreciate you guys coming through and making these sales with us. But matter of fact, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Y'all stay tuned. Let me go ahead and get these uh, ready to get served up to my boys. Slap like, baby. Poor man lost the rolls, baby. It's, uh... Yes, indeed. Now that is good. Slap life, baby. Slap life, baby. Slap life, baby. And I lost the roll taste, buddy. It's <laughs> on the inside of that thing. What it tastes like, buddy? Lobster. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys coming step by step with me. Making lobster rolls today. Poor man, lobster rolls, ladies and gentlemen, out of that good old Florida sheep head meat that you guys seen me clean the other day. I appreciate you guys joining Professor Slabs and Slab Life Kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, if you don't remember anything, I want you to remember this. If you have to ask, you, you are not living. living. And, and if you're, you're not living, living you're not fishing. fishing. Slab no, Life, baby, it's a no, lifestyle that presents present and brain. Right. Lifetime right. of memories. Right. And you can take that to the bank, ladies and gentlemen. That's as long as you got a fish bowl in your head. <laughs> God bless y'all. This little knucklehead right here got me laughing. God bless y'all. I love y'all. And to the next time, the, the professor, professor is checking out. Slide, Slide like baby. Slide like baby. Slide like baby is a lifestyle. And you best believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, boy, when I tell you, mm, boy, they ain't lying. They ain't lying, ladies and gentlemen. Tastes like lost for real. Hold on, y'all. This is so good. Hold on. That's all I can do, ladies and gentlemen. Poor man lost the rolls is an absolute hit. I swear to you on it, ladies and gentlemen. That tastes better than tuna salad. I ain't gonna lie to you. And look how I kept its consistency. It ain't tearing all apart. That's what's throwing it off. Ooh. That lemon. That garlic butter, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, I bet y'all got all kinds of stuff around my mouth. This is delicious, boy. You hear me?
I can't even drink this right now. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a hit. Poor man lost a man. Slide like, baby. Lay y'all. If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will be in space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill could pass nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen.